Tech for Seniors present the website of the week with Huey Poplock. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Have you ever wanted to fix an issue with a company and it's difficult to even find a phone number for that company? When you find the phone number, you call them and then you have to choose between one get this, two get that, three get this, and then once you press that number, then you have more choices. By the time you finish, you're not sure if you're in the right place. And then it says, we value your business. Please hold and a representative will be with you shortly. Don't you just love that? I'm Huey Poplock and I'm going to tell you how you can fix your customer service issues faster through a website called GetHuman.com. Let's take a look at an example using this website to get an idea of what you can find out and what it does for you. Let's type in the name of a company. Let's use GoDaddy. And as soon as we type in a few of the letters, it gives us a, a sample. And when we click on that, let's examine this page to see what Get Human will do for us and what we need to be careful of. So we're looking for a phone number for GoDaddy. They list a customer service number. They say the current wait time is 20 minutes. If you want to skip waiting on hold, you push this button. Let's do that and see what happens. They want you to put in your phone number. So skip hold and get called by GoDaddy.com. The Get Human phone waits on hold so you don't have to and calls you when a rep can talk, and it's free. You tell them what phone number to call you back on. They'll start dialing GoDaddy.com, and the estimated time you save by letting them wait for hold is 19 minutes. We build this free tool for customers to skip past phone menus and long waits. We hope you like it. We are often asked why and how we do this. And the answer is easy. For one, we don't think that you should have to wait on hold for long periods of time to talk to organizations you do business with. As for how, the calls are expensive for us to make, but you can see we offset that cost by showing you advertisements on this website. We hope this saves you some time. Now, those advertisements, you need to be very careful. If you click on one, and I did, just to see how much it actually would cost me. This one it says chat with an expert online now. And when you open it, it opens up. Let's do it. It takes you to another website, gives you a person ready to talk to, and you're ready to talk. However, what you don't see really easily is right here. It says, okay, got it. I'm sending you a secure page to join this company for only $1, fully refundable. When you're filling out that form, I'll tell the expert about your situation and then connect you to. Well, that $1 is just a trial. If you accept it, you then are charged $50 per month for the service. So we're not really interested in doing that. Okay, so we're back to the GoDaddy page again. So be careful on pressing any of the ads. There's another one up here. There's a, there, we, we chose that one. Here's another one over here. They all are going to charge you money. Get Human does not. So here's how it works. Tell us what phone number to call you on when we have a GoDaddy rep for you. We dial, navigate through their phone maze and wait on hold for as long as it takes while you relax or do as you please. When we finally reach an agent, we call you back. You pick up the phone and talk to GoDaddy.com. Simple. We get it. The phone menus are confusing and so on. So it goes and it, it saves you the time and they do it for you. Now, why is it free? We get that question a lot. It sounds too good to be true, right? Well, the truth is that the service costs a lot of money to run since we call you back with when a rep can talk. Given that over 100,000 customers per day use GetHuman, that's a lot of phone calls to pay for. 
By being innovative and leveraging technology, we're able to operate the service at a reasonable cost such that we can keep it running. To have them call you back, you just put in your phone number. Right now, the average time is 19 minutes. Let's look at a different company. As we go back, we see another ad. We're going to close that. Facebook. Let's click on that. They give you a phone number, but they also tell you nobody answers this number. Their best help, Facebook's help desk. Instead, and that's a link that takes you to it. Instead, tell us why you're calling, get human, walks you through our best tools, fastest contacts and reminders. So they have some things. So if you're having a problem with a page, you click that. I'm going to click it and tell it to open it in a new tab so we don't lose our spot. Then we go to that tab. You fill some, some information out. They will take that information and try to match it to a guide that they have written to help you. So they will try to help you even, there, even if there isn't a phone number or you don't want to use the phone number. Let's use one we were talking about the other day on Tech for Senior, and that's going to Costco. Now, you'll notice here, you've got Costco.com, but you also have Costco Canada. And I know several of you are from Canada, so let's take a look at that first. It gives you a customer service number, tells you what the wait time is, and the number. And then it gives you some sample questions that you might have. And then there's some information about the customer number by the numbers. Is there a callback available? And there's no. But is there a call picked up by a real person? Yes. And then navigate through the uh, maze to a human. Press 1, then 1, then 4, then 1. And that should get you to a human being. The current wait is 6 minutes. And it was last updated on the 28th of July. And this time, Costco U.S., there's a customer service. There is a wait time of 17 minutes. If you want to skip that, you click this. And they will call you back when there's a human being to talk to. So let's see what else they have on the website. If we scroll down, there are all of the most popular phone numbers of several companies here. You can choose any one of those, or you can go to all companies A to Z. When you do that, you'll see the alphabet is available. They have several pages of them. That way they get an ad in each time you change the page. And down here at the bottom, how-to guides. Let's take a look at how-to guides. These are recently searched companies and they have guides for them. So if we wanted a Walmart guide and they have many questions that people have asked, how do I get a refund from Walmart? And they have a guide for that. Notice another ad. Now there's an ad over here. So you've got to be careful what you choose, but you can read down here and it tells you the process and the information that you have to have. And again, another ad or why did get human right? How do I get a refund from Walmart? Because after thousands of Walmart customers came to get human in search of an answer to this problem and many others, they decided it was time to publish instructions. So you can find a lot of instructions and a lot of ads. So there, is, there are many guides to take a look at. Here are recently searched phone numbers, and these are some of the major companies that people have been looking for. To help find a company phone number, get right to a rep, gethuman.com a try. But be careful, don't click on the ads, or realize you're clicking on an ad that may cost you money. Gethuman.com. Website of the week, I'm Huey Poplock.